I'm so happy to be making this video. Yay. Thanks for, thanks for this opportunity, this amazing powerhouse gift to make a video talking about my best friends. Oh, so everyone, I've definitely been gaining weight. As you can see, I'm feeling good. I'm just feeling really good physically. And I'm feeling just like so good emotionally and mentally. And this video is a tribute to my best friends whom I love with all my heart. And for anyone watching, this is just like a celebration, a little party that I'm throwing for my friends. And a lot of you, you know, you're also my friends. But you know, I have some like best amazing friends <laughs> that I just wanna talk about, that I've connected with lately. Never in my life have I connected with and deepened and made such powerful, conscious, loving, true loving, like proper, unconditional, heartfelt, bursting, grounded, holistic, encompassing love that you can actually truly share and give and receive healing energy. And I have supportive friends full of wisdom. A lot of them are mature. A lot of them are like empaths or healers. They're like, they're, they're all empaths, healers or coaches or whatever, basically speaking. Or else if they aren't, they are, but they're not instructed. They don't have this label. They're not working. Like my mom, she's not working as like, you know, a consult, a consult or a coach. My mum is the closest in my life. I love her with all my heart. She's like total, <laughs> she's a massive person for me. Just incredible. She's gone through so much stuff in her life. She really has. And she paved the way for me as her son to come through with the next generation, to be moving the way forward as the life number one that I am, to make a new paradigm, show a new way, live a new path, bring forth a new energy to, to transform the world. That's what a life number one do. And that's what I'm doing. And that's not said with ego or arrogance, that's just the truth. That's just the way it is. Yeah, so John says, hello. Hello, John. Deanna Scott says, glad to see you so happy. That's infectious. <laughs> yeah, so this is like an energy transmission. It's an energy sharing and energy exchange. So, so I'm inspired to make this video because I just made a Facebook post like talking about all my friends. So. So I wanted to share, like, I, I, I made a post from a friend, um, Julie, I've got, there's Julie, Jeanette, Jossie, and Janet, so you guys are all on my list, but, um, you know, I've been talking a lot lately with, like, two people in my life, like, Jeanette and Michael. Michael is here with me in Penticton. Jeanette is in a different place in America. They, um, they are both going through similar stuff to me, similar. So it's no wonder the universe brought us together. Just connection, so much resonation, so much love, so much real life support and loving vibrational energy exchange. Crazy stuff. Everyone, oh Michael, you're on the list, man. You're on the list. This is what I said. I tagged you, I tagged you, Michael Roach. I tagged you on Facebook a few minutes ago. Um, <laughs> yeah, and of course, Michael Roach, that's what I said. I said, mm, you all make my heart melt. And then I was like, laugh. Totally. See you, Michael. Good night. <laughs> so you're on my list. Top best friends. Um, Susan Montan, Montan, which means mountain in French. Montagne says, you're awesome, Owen. Love your messages. Thank you, Susan. John says, I'm walking in water right now. <laughs> I'm sitting on a chair right now. <laughs> Carl, Carla Hilton says, you are love, Owen. Hugs. Yeah, I am love. We're all love, everybody. We're all on different stages of maturity, consciousness, like vibration, energetic aliveness, awareness. We're all on different levels of openness, closedness. We're all love. And, and like the only people I want to spend a lot of time with in my life right now and connect deeply are the people who can like reciprocate the love that I am and that and share, you know, like, I don't like, whoa, <laughs> so, so what? Melissa says, hey, hi, Al, you're looking great, <laughs> thanks very much, appreciate that, yeah, I'm feeling like I'm looking great, and I'm feeling great, I'm just trying to get something, <clears throat> there we go, um, 
Yeah, well, I think my eyes are really looking really good. Like, I'm eating basically three quarters or more of the time, like four fifths of the month, I'm fruitarian and fruit juices and herbs. So it's totally working. And I'm totally gaining the weight, everyone. Like, gaining loads of weight. I'm definitely like just. I'm becoming back to normal again. But, uh, yeah, I just want to like, I want to shout out to, like, love to Jeanette, love to Michael, massive love to my mom, massive love to Michael and Jeanette too, and Josie, Josie Allen, like, guys, if you can, like, befriend these people, you should, like, they're just huge healers, they're, like, full of wisdom and awareness, because, like, I made a post on Facebook today, okay, and I said, thank you, Julie, for today and always, you love, your love and grounded positive mature energy soothes me and is like a healing balm she's great she's giving me help and love just as friends we're both helping each other of course but of course she's helping me i and then she says thank you dear own fox feeling incredibly feeling incredibly blessed to have connected with you and to share our thoughts ideas and energy in service to our highest good and those of others so then I said to my mum, then I said to her, you couldn't have said it any better and it just shows the type of person that you are, Julie. And then I said, see what I mean, mum? These are my friends, top quality, the best. And then I wanted to tag Michael Amaro, Josie Allen, Jeanette, um, Janet. <laughs> you know, I don't talk as much with Janet as the rest, but I do talk fairly regularly and she's a loving, conscious, aware, beautiful soul, lovely woman. And when I say mature, I, I mean spiritually all mature. We're all different ages. But a lot of these are older than me as well, which is nice. Some are younger. And then this guy called Ray, like he just blown me. I talked to him today on like on a call, like helping him consultation. But like he's like telling me he loves me so much and everything's like blowing me kisses. <laughs> What can you do? Like, when you have someone like so loving and affectionate, this is the way I am. I blow kisses to people on my videos. I blow kisses to men. I blow kisses to women. I compliment bloody people like going by in a wheelchair and like, I love your tan. I'm going with my rollerblades. Love your tan. And like, I just like compliment anybody. It doesn't matter. I'm not, you know, when you're in a different vibration, you think a compliment is like hitting on you or being sexual, but it's not. Like, you can blow kisses to whoever you want. It's showing affection, it's showing love. It's showing warmth, it's showing openness. Um, so John Mosteller, Mostele, I don't know, says healers unite. I'm on a raw food crusade, where do you get B12? Mm, to be honest, I'm just taking a bit of B12, like, you know, yeah, from the garden of life at the moment, but sometimes I don't take it, sometimes I do. So who else? I think that's everyone like so. And uh, is there anything else to say? Oh, yeah. And then I had to include my friend Sean Allen because I knew I'd be forgetting people. And Ashwarya. Um, Ashwarya is a long friend of mine. I like her a lot. She's a lovely person. Works as like a reader and healer. And yeah, works. Out. She's from India. Like, she's, re she's really good, you know. I'd recommend all of these people to befriend or get healings or readings from or anything like that. Energy healing. Sean Allen, like, you know, just, you know, a lot of my friends here are in their, in their 50s or even 60s, you know, like, mostly in their 50s, like, or Jossie and Jeanette are in their 20s. Um, yeah, I just, I love mature people. And then is my last friend, Michael Roach, who came onto this live video to say hi. Like, just kick ass, like, just I think he's 44. It doesn't really matter about the age, but just, you know, when you experience life, you often have an opportunity for more growth and healing. Michael is just, you know, I love Michael, I love, I love everybody. Sean, <laughs> Sean is this like long haired guy from Northern Ireland. <laughs> he used to work in a um, like legal drug shop. He used to have a shaved, he used to be a bouncer, like shaved head. <laughs> this big guy is taller than me. But then he turned into like a hippie kind of like, not really a hippie, but now he's got like hair down to his back, blonde hair. He's just such a loving, supportive, mature soul, like wisdom wise. And Michael, like so, such a soft-spoken, like heart-centered. I don't know. I just love all my friends. So everybody, I guess I may as well end this video. Not a 
just I've, I've shared my love, my appreciation for all of these lovely people. And yeah, there's other people in my life too, you know. Um, I've met some friends sometimes, but you know, I've just never had as many good friends in my life. They're just like so, so positive, so empowering. They're so down to earth, loving, kind, gracious, humble people. The people who you can, you know, you can have a disagreement with, but it ha doesn't have to be a big argument. And you can say, I love you at the end and give each other a hug, you know? It's not a big ego battle. Gloria says, I love talking to people. A smile, a compliment on their outfit, their hair. They stop and look at me. Some say thank you, some are shocked. I love being positive. <laughs> Life is too short. Thank you, John, for you say, good to hear your voice. All right, everyone, I think I'll leave it, but... I also then, my best, my best previous friend, like, I don't call anyone my best friend now, they're all my best friends. Like, one other person who deserves this list is Minda. Minda goes to Stinskis, Lithuanian Bigfoot. Gorgeous guy. <laughs> I never, he's like the first best friend of my adult life, the first deep friend of my adult life. Hey, Stefan. Stephen, <laughs> dude, you always make me laugh when you say that. Stephen is like older than me, physical age. We're, we're, we're ageless souls, of course. He always said, I want to be like you when I grow up. On. <laughs> I'm still growing up, but I love when you say that. It's very funny. I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> love you, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. Love you, too. So, yeah. This year has been a hard year for me, you know. It's definitely cracked me open. It's knocked me down. It's been a crumbling or a cracking of some of my things, you could call it ego or unhealed parts. Some of my psyche and my mind. Um, so uh, I'm grateful for everything. And the universe has supported me with the, some of these extra like loving beings in my life. And um, I also want to pay my respect to um, like the mother of my child is it's she's the the um the daughter she's the mother of her child like it's our child but this <laughs> our child okay but yeah my baby her baby we're the father and mother so i want to pay my love and respect to her because we have a strong soul contract as well you know so i just I just want to say good things about her and share my love with her and respect. She's a good person, very good person. And um, I want to thank her for helping share all the love and positive energy in the past and bringing a baby, a special kid into the world. So excited to have this soul. So I've had a baby lately and yeah, that's the, born on the 30th, life number one. My lucky numbers, trees and ones and zeros. And yeah, that's, I'll talk about that in another video, maybe. Um, <clears throat> but I also want to thank one other person. And that's the, the, the other um, relationship I've had in my, my adult life. And that is Sally. And I love her loads as well. Like, neither, I'm not with my exes anymore. These two lovely, beautiful women and souls. But I, they do touch my heart. And me and them have been through a lot <laughs> in different ways. But good times and hard times, for sure. But I do love them a lot and I uh, have nothing but integrity and love and honour towards them and I want to bring them as much love and light as possible and, and I want to bring as much love and light to myself also as possible too and everybody. So. Uh, <laughs> so John says, it's called living on purpose. Michael, bless you Owen, thank you. Big hug. Love to hug you Michael. Such a nice person, someone I really respect because you work on yourself and you're honest with yourself and other people. You know, you're such a good growing soul, you know, the type of person who I love, love and admire and respect deeply. I'm looking forward to seeing you again, Michael, and I will be back to Ireland at some stage, of course, always visiting or coming back to my family and stuff from time to time. And. Alex says, hey Owen, I love the way you think. Thanks, Alex. So, I like the way I think, you know. I'm always improving how I think. Um, 
the best people to learn from how to think in my opinion is Abraham like they're just brilliant like it's Abraham is eight non-physical beings in one he was channeled through the physical woman called Esther Hicks Abraham are fantastic like they basically help you to stop seeing life through the negative filter the negative perspective and start seeing life more through the positive perspective and think clearer and more through the lens of truth and positivity and honesty like true because things aren't as bad as they often seem and we make it out to be they're very helpful to me this year so I really want to like thank Abraham you know to kick ass and as well as Esther and all of the people I've mentioned in this video like they've just been amazing I haven't seen Minda much this year you know we haven't really been in contact much and you know but he's always in my heart he's a life number he's the only other life number one that I know of except for my baby now as well so that's so exciting like the difference that I've, I feel I've made sort of like in the world without being arrogant or egotistical everyone like I'm just walking my path I'm doing my thing that I naturally want to do you know but I feel I've made a pretty big difference in the world you know within certain re reason or comparison you know like like I didn't do anything for a while when I was younger then I did a, then I did a lot <laughs> but you could say it's not a lot compared to me in the future or other people it's not about the ego it's not about the game it's not about the competition but as a life number one I feel I've helped change and show a new way of living and consciousness and heart and behavior in the world like more aligned with nature love connection to our higher self and connection to other people but I reckon as a life number one also, and as my baby also, the next generation, this girl should have, should have, should probably do and be an amazing way shower, you know, of new higher consciousness on the planet also. So I'm excited about that. But the only other person I ever met as life number one that I know of is Minda. And uh, yeah, he's such a, such a lovely person. And like, such a, he's like, he reminds me of like Forrest Gump a little bit. And I mean that in the best way possible because Forrest Gump and people who are such, they're so unaligned. They're, they're in alignment. Like, Minda is, Minda is a very kind, helpful, humble giant. He's a caring soul, big time. Yeah. Okay, so big love and respect to all of them. And everyone, everyone who's like come in and commented and watched, thanks. Like, I appreciate you too. You, you're like, you're loving, kind, amazing souls. And I appreciate your participation and uh, influence with me in me. Like you're just like helping me with your love and comments as well, you know, like you're making me feel better today. And just keep going on in the world, you know? Like we all are on our path. It's challenging for all of us. We cannot control other people. The only thing we can do, everyone as you probably know, is to look at ourselves and change ourselves from within. And when we bring a higher consciousness, better thinking, and a more open vibration and energy, more wisdom, love, kindness, compassion and patience, not just for others, but for ourselves too, as an equal, not putting ourselves last or on the lowest priority, because that's not self-love. When we change on the inside, we will change on the outside. And our whole, universe, our whole universe will change. Because the outside world is basically a reflection or a mirroring of where we are inwardly and what we need to learn to get on to the next level. So we use, people come at the perfect time in the perfect way. Both the positive, loving, supportive people and the challenging people who are not in alignment. They're dis who are disconnected you know so to someone who's disconnected they'll be the troublemaker you know as Eckhart Tolle says the more unconscious you are the more you become a troublemaker but we just need to love these and work through it maybe practice tough, tough love practice self love and no life is like a test and there's no coincidences or look, bad luck it's all happening in divine perfection. There's no, try not worry, try worry less, think differently.
give thanks, pray, do meditate or quiet in your mind in the morning, or think about if you can switch to the positive outlook first thing in the morning too. Do not let a roller coaster like train momentum of negative viewpoints dictate you because when you're in that energy, it has a power and a momentum. You just want to keep like it's hard to get out of that roller coaster when you're in the negative momentum. And some people are lost in this negativity for potentially even months or even maybe even years. So our job as a growing conscious being, and I know if you're watching this, that's totally what you are, you know, because you're not going to be still watching if you're not. <laughs> our job is to do something like meditate to quieten out of this washing machine of negative viewpoint. Okay, so step out of the everything is dramatic and you're the victim and blaming others. Try and get out of that through meditation. Something like a walk in nature or a swim in the ocean or a barefoot walk in the forest. Through having a shower or a bath with essential oils. Or through listening to Abraham. Oh, the internet's still on. I didn't know that. I have to have the internet on because it's <laughs> live. Because sometimes I knock off the internet when I'm making a non-live video, so then I don't get beepings. Um, another way to step out of this like real negative thing that has a very strong emotional charge and that affects our mind and more negative thinking is to talk to a very uplifting, empowering friends who can steer you back. But don't rely on them. I mean, you don't become an energy dumper either. But you can still, if you're not too bad, you know, you can still say something. But what you can do for yourself is basically just think something like, it could be worse, change your thoughts. Could be worse. Things are getting better. Things have been bad in the past, but they've worked out. I've had a lot of challenges and hardships in the past, but I've gotten through it. The universe supports me. Even though things might seem hard now, I know that they can get better. You know, just think these type of thoughts. Soothe yourself up to vibration, like walking up the steps of the stairs. One little stairs at a time. One little thought at a time. So, um, There's a way we can steer our thinking into a more real, empowering way, everybody. Um... Think about everything you love. Think about the best memory, the best imagination. So people can control some things, like they can do stuff, but they can't control your imagination. So imagine the best. Like for example, there's a challenge right now. Say to yourself, okay, right now I don't have what I want, and that's okay. That's a lot of the way life is from everybody. But in the future, things are gonna get better. I, I, know, I know our, like for example, I know our relationship is gonna get better in some way. God or source, has, has my has my back that's another thought um, I can see and in fact imagine and envision ourselves being closer and certain energies relaxing I can see us feeling and talking much better in the future that type of stuff oh. Michael says thanks Owen tears came to my eyes with your heart open words <laughs> and that's why I love you Michael <laughs> Because you're alive. <laughs> you're such a good friend of mine. I really appreciate and love you. Even though we haven't we've met too many times, but we've been in contact from distance. No distance with love, eh? Mm. So, um, John also says, John must dead air. Nothing is right or wrong. It just is as it is. Yeah, one of the things I like to say is, it is as it is. It was what it was. It will be what it will be. It's a thought that soothes you, that helps you to let go of pain and worry and judgment as if things were wrong or bad. God has your back, everyone. That's what I want to say. And when I say God, I mean the universe, source, love and light, like your guides and angels. I always pray to my guides and angels. So what else is... Uh, boo -boo -boo. <clears throat> Alex Blaise Paquette Devil says, I want to ask you something, Owen. Do you struggle about something or like something that you find very difficult in life? How do you deal with that? Well, I guess I've sort of just answered the question, Alex. I think differently and I go for all the things I mentioned. Swim, walk, put on some music is another really, that's another way I cope. I put on Snat Dam Cower or other music I find uplifting. Snap time is healing, very healing music. And I talk to maybe friends that help me because sometimes I get lost in the negative worrisome thoughts too, or like closed hearted thoughts. And I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Like, 
the more cut, this is the rule everybody, the more cut off you are from your higher self, the truth, love, life and the universe, this is the love life chord. When you're away from that, so for example, you're thinking unfriendly thoughts towards people, that's when you're not feeling good emotionally, when you're disconnected from your truth of love. So the more you align with love and compassion and understanding, the more you align with love and compassion and understanding and gentleness, mm. the more you're going to feel peace and love that you are as a true soul, you know, as a true being of God or life or source. I do everything I mentioned before. Listen to Abraham, listen to music, talk with a friend, or go out and do something. They're the three main things that I do, probably. It doesn't have to be just Abraham video. It could be a different YouTube video that's very full of love and light and wisdom. But doing stuff like rollerblading, it's good when I'm on a particular vibration to bring me up a bit. Getting the sunshine is also very good. Moving my body. I can't be in my room all day. I'm not that type of person. That brings me down. That'll make me a bit depressed. I need some social contact and I need to move my body. So, comments. Good question, John. John says something else that's physically related. Owen, in a sentence, describe the importance of juicing and living foods as a jump start for people who don't know about this. Living foods and raw food and juicing and eating more healthy and lightly and real stuff that's not processed is of pivotal importance. The more you, so that's the sentence, is of pivotal importance. If you're struggling in life or you're down or depressed or anxious or sick or tired or afraid or worried or have anger, if you're eating poisonous substances, chemicals, toxins, pollutants, meat, dairy and grains, you want to get off those three, meat, dairy and grains, you're, you're congesting and causing acidosis and inflammation and irritation and blockage in your blood system, your energetical nervous system, and your lymph system. You're interfering with your organs. It's just terrible. <laughs> I, as I said earlier, I eat help. I eat to try and help me to cope and to feel better in life and to heal my body. I eat to feel good emotionally and to feel high mentally and emotionally. Most of my diet is fruits and fruit juices and herbs. Like that's fruits is our food. Everybody, we're frugivores. Physiologically, it all says it. People heal on fruit. You don't heal on other stuff. Like You heal on fruits and juices and fasting and herbs. You don't eat heal on meat and potatoes and rice and pasta and scones. <laughs> you heal on mangoes and papaya. You heal on this stuff, everybody. Mangoes. I, got, I just bought a whole big box the other day. It's my melons. See, this is what I do. I've already done this today. I wreck my body, but I'm getting better. I'm healing on fruits, juices, and herbs. I like it. It's okay. I know I'm skinny, but I'm getting stronger by the day, everybody. This is the stuff that heals. This fixes your body. This gets you off skin conditions, acne, psoriasis, edema, um, liver, liver problems like brain issues, toxicity, heavy metal poisons. <sighs> okay, so. <laughs> yeah, so clean your body up with like fruits and raw food and a little bit of steamed vegetables if you find you can't handle fruits or raw food. Slow down your detox with a little bit of stuff like sweet potatoes, a hundred times better than white potato. Bit of, bit of sweet potato, bit of broccoli, Try not to have too many oils, like, you know. Unless a little bit of coconut oil is good for your brain, have that sometimes, but um, don't go too heavy on the oils, everyone. They're, they're, they're heavy. And uh, don't go heavy on the starches, eat your fruits instead. Um, but if you're going to eat starches, eat stuff like sweet potato, squash, pumpkin. They're much better than white potato. Yeah, of course, Pamela says eliminate refined sugars. Well, like refined sugars, you know, like, for me, I'm not. I never take white sugar, basically. But for me, brown sugar, coconut sugar, 
date sugar, uh, maple syrup, maybe even agave. I never have agave, but it does, doesn't bother me at all. Like, I don't have any candida or um, problems, but if I had candida, I wouldn't mm. take any refined sugars. People get better on a fruit diet, by the way, if they're even diabetic or have candida, everyone. But what people don't know is, is when you mix in stuff like avocados, durian, olive oil, coconut oil, stuff like that. It's the oil. It makes your blood slippery. It gets in the way of the cell, the sites in your cell where it like opens the door to let the, the, the sugar or the, the insulin receptors. So basically speaking, have a low-fat fruitarian diet and people are getting off their insulin really quickly. It's when you mix it with too much fat, it's a terrible combination. It's been shown in studies and a lot of people know this, but a lot of people don't know it either. So. Yeah. So basically real food, we're frugivores, we're fruit eaters primarily with a little bit of greens if you feel like it, like raw greens. But Anyway, that's another video. This video was started off like giving love and thanks for my buddy. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I went off, eh? But I like live videos the most. They're the most fun and interactive. <laughs> this is the other living being that's bigger than a microorganism or an insect in my room. It's a lovely plant. <laughs> I can't wait to eat mangoes. So everyone, I'm in such a good mood, eh? Guess what time it is? It's bloody, <clears throat> it's 20 past two. <clears throat> it's 20 past two in the afternoon and all I've eaten is nothing. All I've had is around this much juice. I've had energy to be bloody doing loads of Facebook posts. I've given a consultation to a client and a friend already. The guy, Ray, who's blowing me kisses and loving me. I've been talking live for ages. <laughs> and not only did I just have a little bit of juice, like what was in it was it was bloody bloody flipping, blipping, blopping. This it's like psyllium husk. Apple cider vinegar, because the acid to clean our limb system. And to break down the mucus and all the hardened plaques from the, all the rubbish we ate before. And then there's activated charcoal. So this is very, I, I also gave a strong dosage. So if months ago, if I had this dose, I would have felt drained out of it because I was dirtier. And now I've cleansed and strengthened so much, I take even more than I did. And I don't feel anything bad. In fact, I'm raring to go. I'm full of energy. The whole idea about how much you need to eat is just complete rubbish. It's just rubbish. Like, listen to your body and clean your body out and you become a hundred times more efficient and stronger. Then you won't need as much food at all. Like, look at the wild animals. Are they eating all the time? Of course they're not. <laughs> Everything is backwards in this world. <laughs> so, so, John, what about healthy fats? <laughs> yeah, they're just healthy fats. But, you know, we don't need to overdo them. And we don't need to eat them all the time. Like, fats will slow down when you're cleansing and detoxifying significantly, massively. And not only, it depends on what you have, of course, but their significance, trust me. And not only, even food slows you down when you're trying to detox to a certain level. Like, even fruits. That's why when, when animals are sick or injured, they stop eating. They, they crawl into a bush or under a tree, and they don't even drink anything. All the animals in nature, they're not going back and forth to a lake when they're like fasting. They're dry fasting. So every day I do a dry fast between, generally between 12, 13, 14 hours. I'm dry fasting every day. So dry fasting is we don't eat or drink. So for example, let's say I drink some of this 9 o'clock at night time or 10. Let's say 9. Then I don't drink anything else again until uh, like 9, 10 or 11. Something like that. And I'm aiming to increase it. It's very, very healing. It's incredible for your kidneys. And it's amazing for your lymph system and kidney filtration. So, that's all I want to say, everyone, more or less. Like, I think that's probably enough for this video. Um, but, yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching. And everyone's going to be watching on YouTube later also. So, thanks for everyone watching on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, I hope this video's helped. And uh, 
Lots of love to you all, all right? Thanks for all your comments and everything else. <laughs> love. <laughs> love to everybody. Love you all. You're such beautiful, amazing souls. Such good souls. All right, well, thanks for sharing the space, and I'll see you all another time. Okay. <laughs> Mango heaven. <laughs> Such a beautiful day here in Canada. Look at that. It's nice, eh? Mountains. Trees. And there's a garden down there with, like, plants growing. I'm not interested in vegetables, but I, I planted some uh, strawberry and some tomato plants. <laughs> okay. Thank you, John, who says love and peace. And Stephen, Stephen says thanks, aunt. Glad you're still watching, Stephen. Wasn't sure. And um, Michael says enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. And Pamela says love. And love you, Owen. So, yeah. I'll see you all another time, okay? Take care and uh, enjoy your day also. Bye.